what is up leo welcome to your general timeless reading these are timeless so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you these are also general so please check out your sun moon rising venus and jupiter placement on my channel and also please only take what resonates and leave the rest if you want a personal reading or a reiki session go ahead book it down below through my website in the description box i do have a ten dollar off discount code for the month of march for all hour long tarot readings and reiki sessions so go ahead and book if you would like to claim that discount if you want to join patreon that's where i do the monthly readings energy shift readings moon cycle readings and weekly patreon only videos i also do a lot of mentoring on that platform so if you want some help on your spiritual journey that's definitely the platform for you like share subscribe give this video a thumbs up it helps the channel grow and i greatly appreciate it other than that let's get into it leo let's see what goodies we got from my leos let's use light series tarot I'm feeling that for you. I feel like I use this a lot for Leo. I don't know why. Show me what I most need to see for my Leos. Show me what I most need to see for Leo. Leo, you feel like you're kind of like on the prowl. <laughs> like, um, like almost like, um, not devious, but a little devious, but in the sense of like, what do you got for me? It's almost like you're looking at me like, what do you got for me today? Like, what's my message, Jordan? Come on, tell me. It's almost like, um, how would I explain that? It's like challenging, but like playful challenging. It's like, it's like flirty, but like devious flirty. I like it though. I'm for it. Like, that's someone who like really like. I probably should have taken those. Yeah, I definitely should have, but we'll come out again if they need to. That's a lot. That's a lot. We have a King of Swords in reverse, Page of Swords. This feels like avoidant. This feels very avoidant. It's almost like, it's almost, it's almost like you don't want someone to know it's almost like you're spying on somebody, but like you don't want them to know that you're thinking about them. Like, I'm thinking about you, but I don't want you to know that I'm thinking about you. The Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. Yeah, this Knight of Wands and the Page of Swords feels like an individual, and the King is kind of like the person that they're watching. It's kind of like, I'm not thinking about you. And the Eight of Swords is, the, is actually like the reality of like, you're on my mind nonstop, I'm just not gonna admit that. Leah, this might be you thinking about this person. It's like, no, no, I'm not thinking about them. I don't know what you're talking about. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands in reverse. It's like you're trying to act distracted. Page of Wands in reverse. That's mind games. That's mind games. That's mind games. Bottom of the deck is a Ten of Wands, Three of Cups in reverse, followed by the Four of Cups, followed by the Empress. Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Ace of Cups in between that. It's not like you even want the reconciliation. It's kind of like, I just want to know that you want me. I just kind of want to know that you want me because like, I'm hot, I'm an empress. Yeah, it's almost like I know this is done, but like, I just kind of want to know that you want me. I am spying on you, I'm totally over it, but I'm doing my own thing. Do you see me doing my thing over here? Because I just, I kind of want to know that you want me. It kind of feels like that, <laughs> it does. That's funny. Um, it's just kind of wanting to know that you have their attention. Do you see me being great? Do you, do you see me being great over here? <laughs> Terra Illuminati. It's so funny. It's so funny. I'm gonna be honest, I think they're oblivious. I'm just gonna tell you now. I'm just gonna not trying to burst your bubble. I think they're oblivious. Let's look at the King of Swords. Yeah, page of pentacles in reverse. What? What? You're you're looking at me? What? Yeah, they're oblivious. Page of pentacles in reverse. They're not aware. They're not aware at all. Um I actually just heard, um, this is going like really left field really quickly. Um, I actually just heard whippets. 
some of you might actually uh, this individual might have issues with substance abuse the king of swords not not the page of swords and the nine of wands not the page the king might have sub substance abuse issues i just heard whippets um And it feels like whippets in the sense of like substance abuse, not in like the playful sense. If it, it it feels very negative. Um, I don't like that. Let's get another on the King of Swords. Yeah, King of Swords. You guys, if you've been with me for a while, you know when I get. The same card on top of the same card, it's validation for the reader, for, for myself as the reader, about my channel being correct. Yeah, they might actually be um, having a crutch, a substance abuse issue, drug abuse. Um, doesn't have to be drugs, they could just be overindulging in, in food and exercise, something in excess. Um, but I did hear whippets, which is drug abuse, right? So let's look at the page of swords. There's something about this King of Swords, it's almost like they're throwing a tantrum. It's kind of like I feel like they're trying to act as if they're oblivious, but they're not oblivious. They're it's almost like they're overindulging in something so they so they don't pay attention to you paying attention to them. Let's look at the page of swords. Or to keep their mind off of you. Yeah, page of swords. Validation for me as a reader, again, that the channel's correct, right? Page of swords clarified by the page of swords. Let's look at the Nine of Wands. This is stubbornness. This Nine of Wands energy is a lot of stubbornness. It's not wanting to, um, it's not wanting to budge in communication. It feels like two people standing off. You, you two are mirroring each other. It feels like not in the sense of what you are doing, but in your behaviors towards one another, the whole lack of communication. Um, well, I'm not going to message you. You can message me first. Do you see me thriving over here? Cool. I'm thriving. doesn't mean that they're necessarily thriving, but as like you're indulging in self care or you're indulging in your endeavors or you're indulging whatever you're indulging in, they're going to be indulging in something else. So let's say one person is indulging in being awesome Leo. The other person can be indulging in whippets. You're both indulging in something though. Okay. If you're not going to communicate first, they're not going to communicate first. That's what I'm saying. The mirror is right. That's the mirror. It's like if you're being stubborn, they're being stubborn. It's a very... Let's look at the Nine of Wands for Leo. It feels like a standoff. It really does. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Very standoffish energy with the Four of Pentacles. It's kind of like, I'm not giving up. I'm not tapping out. Yeah. Four of Pentacles is, I'm going to protect my energy. I'm going to protect what's precious to me. I'm standing my ground. Very much so, I'm standing my ground. King of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse again. You have the Eight of Swords in reverse twice in the world. This King of Pentacles doesn't know what to do. I feel like the King really wants to communicate. And it's almost like they feel like there's, there's no hope in the communication. This actually feels very heartbreaking. This I feel this in my heart space with the king and the masculine energy. This feels like the feminine energy. This feels like the pages energy. I feel like this is Leo not wanting to budge. This, these two people have two very different energies. Even though they're mirroring each other, they have two very different energy. Like Leo feels very playful, very lighthearted, like very flirty. Like if he did talk to me, like I'd be totally cool with you talking to me. Meanwhile, the masculine energy feels very hurt, very shadowy, very sucked into like a very low vibrational place. Um, very much so overthinking, almost like depressive, self-sabotaging. Especially with an Eight of Swords and a King of Pentacles in reverse, it's a very ungrounded energy. It's someone who's lacking a lot of stability right now. Could it could very much so lean towards um, self-sabotaging behaviors, okay? So substance abuse, um, lack of self-care. It's not, it's not, it's not good energy, especially with the world there. It's toxic cycles. Okay. So let's look at the King of Wands. Strength, justice, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So they have a lot of universal energy around them right now. Trying to support them. Almost like trying to push them to have, yeah, with the Queen of Swords bottom of the deck. So we do have a true pair. We have a karmic pair, no less too. So no wonder you're mirroring each other. 
bringing out each other's shadow, pushing each other's buttons. Um, but this King of Wands energy, right? Aries energy, Leo energy as well, right? Aries for me as a reader. It's technically Leo in regards to Tarot. But then we have Leo with the Strength card, Libra with the Justice card, and Eight of Pentacles. Virgo energy. These three cards feels like the universe almost pushing this person to please have the strength to, to put in the work, to do the diligence, to do your due diligence in order to find this balance within yourself again, right? To get out of this rut, right? To, to take that self-care. I, I do feel like they really want to fix things. It's almost like they don't know how with the Eight of Pentacles they really want to rebuild. They want to work towards the Ten of Pentacles with, with Leo or with the other person involved. Especially with Justice there. They have all intention to make things right. They really want to. They want to have the confidence to. It's almost like they're overthinking with the Eight of Swords. How do I make this right though? How do I fix the situation? They really want to. It's really coming from the heart place. Let's look at the Eight of Swords now. What they're overthinking. The Moon. Oh gosh. Yeah, they're... The moon, it's just, it's really overwhelming. It's just, I feel like they just get sucked down this rabbit hole over and over into their, into just like very low vibrational thoughts, like almost, well, they're never going to want me back. They know, yeah, four swords in reverse. Yeah, it's very negative thoughts. And the knight of swords in reverse. Yeah. They're going down a rabbit hole and the seven of cups in reverse which is illusion and distortion, like needing to have that clarity because the moon speaks to illusion and distortion. So they're getting sucked down this rabbit hole that puts them not in a four of swords upright, not in a healing energy, but in the opposite of that, right? And something that's very um, imbalanced, something that keeps them from rest, something that's keeping them from doing the true healing. They're getting sucked into this very negative self-talk, this knight of swords energy, this very impulsive eight of swords, overthinking analysis paralysis energy that brings them down this rabbit hole that's not very positive in nature right when what they really need is the seven of cups is that clarity but they find that when they'll go hermit mode and they stop self-sabotaging seven of swords underneath that is the sun in reverse right and that leads to the ace of wands because sun in reverse speaks to depression they're in a depression let's look at the eight of pentacles what they need to overcome Six of Wands, yeah, when they start putting in the work to address their shadow, whether this is an aspect of yourself or someone you're dealing with, because this could be your masculine energy, right? When they start putting in the work to address their shadow, they go through a massive transformation, death, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and that's when they find the victory, the Six of Wands. Yeah, when they accept that sitting in this energy and thinking these thoughts of well i'm not wanted or this person's never going to want to fix things or I'm, I'm not worthy of love or i can't have this connection xyz that's not helping their mental emotional spiritual health whatsoever right when they choose to think differently when they choose to say well that's my ego saying those thoughts my ego when you give your ego a name right i gave my e ego a name my ego's name is shannon i tell shannon to shut up all the time I'm like yo shannon shut up i'm not gonna think that because I am deserving of love. I'm deserving of so much love. So stop saying that stupid stuff because I'm not going to listen to you. Shut up. I'm not abandoned. And my person is not out doing crazy things. Shut up, Shannon. Go sit in the corner. Give your ego a name. Because when you do that, not only are you removing your ego from self, you're understanding that your ego is not entirely you. It's just a part of you. And by having that separate part of you, you're understanding that the ego is just the guard at the gate. That's it. It's just saying who can enter and have access to you and who cannot. And as of right now, the ego for this individual is blocking absolutely everything out, whether they love it, whether they want it or not, out of absolute, complete, utter fear and anxiety and triggers. And so the guard is saying no to everything trying to get access and what this person needs to do is tell their shannon to sit down and realize that their shannon has taken the wheel and has just absolutely built a massive wall what they need to do is put their guard on break say hey go grab a coffee or something and filter through what should come in and what shouldn't on their own that's really what they should be doing okay
and that's when they'll have this big transformation but that's shadow work that's understanding that i need to feel these emotions i need to really say are these emotions triggered through my fear are they triggered through my anxiety why am i feeling them are these thoughts because what the ego does is let's say your partner leaves dishes in the sink and then your ego is going to say well they left dishes in the sink they don't love me they're disrespecting me they're not being considerate and they did this because they don't think enough of me to put them in the dishwasher when in all reality maybe they were just in a rush and how to get out the door and how to get to work and it wasn't anything about you had nothing to do with you and if they did have the time they definitely would have done it you know and maybe they intend as soon as they get into the office and they're not in the car and they can actually text you to apologize and tell you that but your ego is going to create this entire scenario in your head before they even have a chance to do that and that's going to make you send them some crazy texts and get all mad at them and that's going to have a really bad day that's what the ego does it triggers emotions and then those emotions create an unnecessary scenario because it's false evidence appearing real fear f-e-a-r right give your ego a name start working with it tell it to sit down and okay it'll help it'll help just work with it make it your friend your ego will protect you when it needs to protect you but it's just it's a friend to be there it's not going to steer the wheel of your life and when you realize that and you do that work, Eight of Pentacles, that's when you have this victory and that's when you go through this massive transformation, death, right? So let's look at the Page of Wands. Yeah. Yep, because all this illusion, all this confusion was blocking you from your true soul, from your true love, your true Two of Cups. Seven of Cups, right? Between the Seven and the Two of Cups is the Five of Cups. All this emotional dissatisfaction, disappointment, that's what the Five of Cups is. It's, a, it's emotionally not being satisfied. It's crying over spilt milk, and that's what the ego does. It makes you upset over things that you really shouldn't be upset over because it creates what? It creates illusion. It creates distortion. It creates a Seven of Cups energy, and it blocks you from what you really want, your Two of Cups energy yeah your happiness around partnerships around love around soulmate connections six of cups let's look at the ten of wands two of wands and as soon as you close that cycle new opportunities open up for you because between the ten and the two is the eight of wands that movement forward beautiful bottom of the deck the freaking sun your energy leo absolutely freaking snap Dong gorgeous. That's a word. Look it up. I'm sure you'll find it somewhere on the internet. <laughs> but the sun, happiness, abundance, illumination, understanding, enlightenment, it's all going to come to you once you or this individual truly addresses the shadow, integrating it. Thank you, Spring Equinox, for this lovely shadow work we're all going to go through as a collective, right? Everybody's like, really, Jordan, more shadow work? This is like bottom of the bucket shadow work. This is not like surface level shadow work that we've been doing for like the last year. This is like that deep, heavy stuff. Like, who am I? Do I really want to be this person anymore? I'm on my path. Do I want to walk this path as a person as I am? It's like heavy stuff. It's like big stuff, okay? Uh, so when I say shadow work now, it's like poof, poof, big guns. Let's get ready, okay? Buckle up, buttercup, because we got some shit to do. That kind of stuff. The fun stuff. The stuff that's going to bring you the sun. Okay? You want a personal reading or a Reiki session? Go ahead, book it down below through my website and description box. There is a $10 off discount code for the month of March for all hour-long Reiki sessions and tarot readings. And if you want to join Patreon, I would love to have you as part of our family. I do a lot of mentoring on that platform to help on the spiritual path. I do monthly readings, energy shift readings, moon cycle readings, and weekly Patreon only videos. Like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow, and I'd love to see you next time. Later, Gator.